Soldiers of Fortune, we love you too, I guess. Anyway, look at this. Check this out. Nice skid mark, huh? Hey, just study the picture real good. Matter of fact, I'll blow it up a little bit so you can study it a little bit more and read the article. Believe what you want to believe. Is that an F? Is that a MIG tail or is that a Phantom? It looks like a MIG's tail. Yeah. So at least they got a hold of something. So anyway. Anyway, everything is just study the picture. Is biting my tongue. Just study the picture. Okay. Anyway, soldiers of fortune, keep making money. I like that. That's good for American industry. Soldiers of fortune, we love it. Beautiful, nice work. And since it's so big, and the most interesting thing on the October, and I think there was something on the second too, is the idea that what it's going to be bringing with it, with their, with them, and the size, because that's some big stuff right here, all in a row. And this one, or at least the one on the second or something, is moving real fast. We'll be at RSOE in a little bit. Okay, just remember there's Oort clouds, and then there is the Oort cloud, okay? We'll be having more on that later, okay? And it's going to be bigger than hail -Bop, they figure, okay? So, ice on. And then you got that gallery you can go to at spaceweather.com, and then there's a new auroral shot. Frank Olson, thanks. Beautiful shot. So, slight chance of AMs, and then they got this, even the sunspot nailed down, possibly. And the most dangerous thing is here, so watch your, uh, if you're going to be gone or something like that, it'd be a good idea to unplug what you got down and shut it down. Just to make sure you don't get a spike. Ooh, so I f and exposure time is unavailable, but I got a feeling that more than likely that these are so strong that I don't think he has probably got the exposure open very long. I would say that he can probably see that pretty good. Uh, so it'd be nice if Mr. Olson could go ahead and let people know. I mean... There's no really secret he could leave the aperture open a long time, but he's getting some pretty dramatic shots, so if he wants to keep his secrets, I guess we'll just keep on enjoying his pictures, I guess. So, looks pretty good. Thanks, Frank. Just popped in, and we'll see by my reaction of what we're seeing, and we're seeing the same thing we saw yesterday. So, this is very unusual, and now it is stretching out, too. So, we're getting a lot of static, and basically, more than likely, what that is... With it coming off our tail end is the idea that the CME that hit us is actually magnetized to hit the Earth and hit our ionosphere and then is flowing back off us. And if you know, and you've seen the real-time player before, it's very unusual to have the red flying back. And yesterday we had it kind of like about, I think if I'm, I could be wrong, but I think we had like a little wave like about here of this redness. Now it's going back and the next thing you know... Uh, somebody that usually paints flames on an automobile will have a nice picture to go by. So we're going through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. Our ionosphere is getting all kinds of action. And I.e., remember two-minute news yesterday, the charts, and also my video showing you also the same. So the ionosphere is very busy, and the radii that are out there they like that too, don't they? Even. Uh, Two minute news and suspicious observers, you watch him again today, okay? I'm just going to go watch him now. And the idea that you can even see that he even shows it on his, that's the head of Earth going through space. And it is possible for us to sometimes get this red here like this, but right now we're getting it on both sides of the Earth, okay? So we're getting friction not from the bottom, but we're getting magnetism from the top in the bottom of Earth, okay? So yes, we may be in beginning our. And it's not going to be as dramatic. It's all a slow turn, like I've been trying to tell everybody. It's going to happen slowly. It's not like the Earth is just going to flip over like a pancake. No one's making breakfast, okay? And yes, two-minute news, he mentions this here. And you got to remember exactly what it's saying. It's the idea that this stuff, when you're looking at the picture or the rendition, artist impression, it's the idea that it's going by the data. That means the actual size this stuff still is, okay? Not the size that the stuff was when it went up there or when it was falling out of orbit. Uh, so this stuff is still, even though it's an artist rendition, it went by computerized generated data. So there's that much garbage and debris, uh, whether it's 
mm, Mother Nature in space or whether it's man-made, which I guess we're part of Mother Nature, but it looks like someone's got a lot of garbage up there. Uh, also, it could be uh, not just the debris, but honestly, it is, because if you've even just seen the debris from one satellite, i.e. the Chinese satellite, that the you can go to the certain government sites and get the information down on that. They really make a mess when they break up coming back into our atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, There's a lot of garbage in space. And a quick note today that the International Space Station has to uh, miss this stuff today. Okay, So it would be interesting to see what happens to the International Space Station. And when you watch two-minute news, Jorge seems to be up and up that he knows really what he's talking about. And basically, because he probably got to let it go because he knows it's not the end of the world. It's just natural action that's happening. And remember, there was people that died in the southeast, the south Philippines, not the east, but the south Philippines. Uh, they said it was a storm. I think it was a tsunami. And I don't, I don't think it's ever been going to be reported, but there were some deaths. I heard it from somebody who was actually on the ground in the Philippines. They called it a storm, she said. So make sure you watch Two Minute News today, okay? He's got all the good information for you. The truth. The truth. Not fear. There's actually the truth. Actual data, okay? Actual facts. Not fear-mongering like everybody else is doing. Just actual truthful data, just like Jorge probably had. In Whamma last night, 7.1 earthquake. They're up there in the Lucian. Lucian Islands here. Let me move to the right. There you go, Lucian Islands. So, I remember the last, uh, had the biggest last year or two. And the last that I know of before this is something like a 7.8 or something like that, or 7.4. And a lot of people haven't paid attention to that, that we've had the biggest quakes up right up there, uh, besides the 9.0 in Japan. So. Now remember when you look at it, the USGS downgraded it to a 6.4, okay? See, so watch this. 6.4 they downgraded. Precipitation records. Colorado's got a lot of rain. Tropical super typhoons weakening and ramping up. Here's the latest earthquake data. There's your magnitude. And we'll scoot over here. We'll go down until we have the 7.1 that basically USGS downgraded. Indonesia had a 4.7, so there's a bunch of quaking all over the world. As you will see those graphs too, I'll probably go to the graphs too and show you again, but it's been hitting it up pretty good. And there it is. That's your data from last night. All right. So, and Chile had a 5.2 just before that, too. So, as I scroll up on the data for the Pacific and the Aleutians, you can see what began. And then we can go back to the 5.7 down and see what or I mean a 5.2 in Chile and see what else we had and then Honshu Japan had a bunch of five points before that too so the earth is still doing its little flop and basically you see it on the magnetosphere when I was there so remember that magnetosphere go back and look at that shot that is not no joke we are turning our magnetism possibly a little bit more gradually right now every fall than what we've been doing in the past Once again, 4.0 in Utah, 0.3. Missouri's been busy with the little light ones, but remember the straight line that you have right along here? I'm not including Utah, but the idea that some of the quakes have gone off the board because they're not that old. And then all the action that we have, there was British Columbia, and then all the action we the West Coast has been having. Just keeps on vibrating out here. 
makes it easier if they're maybe, but construction's pretty slow out in California. It'd be good if it was busy because they'd have some really good set in forms with the idea that as much as the earth is shaking, it would settle the concrete in before it cures real good, huh? A little construction joke. So let's see what's going on around the world here. And we know what site I'm looking at and the idea they're doing a real good job keeping their advertisers happy because the idea if I try to get rid of the advertisements to the right and left, they make the screen smaller. So I just blow it up a little bit more and use my cursor and run around and see what's going on. So and then we can go way out too with the with the drag it out. So there you go for earthquakes in the world right now. Real-time magnetosphere is like, there's our aurora pretty much, our magnetism on the south and the north. And just again, like I say, it's what, you know, we're getting red on both sides. So going through space, we're doing some very unusual action, okay? Fast. Here's quakes in the eastern part of the United States, and I'll zoom out a little bit. We'll get back down to like 125. And there's your data. Check this out. Baja in California just they just don't stop. going to be interesting to see what we got because I think this should have the listing of the one on the illusions up there or if there's some political thing that they didn't let them read this one here in the illusions maybe they don't have it yet 6.3 in Sumatra so I'm going to go back and see what time we had that one and let's go up to the map and I scroll through this real fast but it doesn't matter you can basically freeze what I'm doing on the player let's scroll over to Lucian's and see if it shows it six point nine they got listed at on their website so no matter what I trust the seven point one no matter what it was a seven because as you see, they had it at that. So the USGS knocked a lot more off. These guys knocked a little bit off. I trust that just the straight out first reading that you'll see on the European one, they'll just straight out tell you the first absolute reading. So the real heavy ones, and then there was a five point something in, in down here in Japan, just to the left before, and then all this region right straight across the Lucians over here in Russia has been getting a lot of pounding too. So you got to watch the graphs for that action. Let's go to the graphs. There, I just wanted to mahalo, aloha, and aloha. And uh, we'll go down and take a look down New Guinea way and over by Singapore and Philippines. So, earthquakes all over the place, and this one here, this is that crustal area where we keep on seeing that you pay attention to two-minute news, and he's got it down on those buoys that the idea that, uh, basically, this is sinking over here, and it's rising here in Singapore and so forth, is coming up. So there must be a big volcano out here somewhere. You go to Google, and you can probably find all the, the cracks and everything in, in the uh, seabed, and the uh, faults, yes, under the water. So go to 
Google, you should.